वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर वन ऑफ इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद दिस लेक्चर इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लाप इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म सो इफ लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एस देन इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ एस इज डिनोटेड बाय laplace inverse of f of s and it is given by and it is given by laplace inverse of f of s is equal to f of t laplace inverse of f of s is equal to f of t okay so now <coughs> let us see some rules for for this laplace inverse of f of s plus or minus g of s this can be we can separate it out laplace inverse of f of s plus or minus laplace inverse of g of s okay that means we can separate these terms next laplace inverse of k into f of s this can be written as k into laplace inverse of f of s that means if there is a constant term we can take it outside okay but remember laplace inverse of f of s into g of s is not equal to laplace inverse of f of s into laplace inverse of g of s we cannot write this okay similarly for division also laplace inverse of f of f of s upon g of s this also we cannot write as f of laplace inverse of f of s upon laplace inverse of g of s we this we cannot write okay so this is not true so now here there are some important formulas so let us see that formulas first and after that we will solve some numericals on this so inverse laplace transform of some standard function of some standard functions inverse laplace transform of some standard function so in that let us see first laplace inverse of 1 remember laplace inverse of 1 is dirac delta function that is delta t okay remember this second laplace inverse of 1 by s is equal to 1 okay laplace inverse of 1 by s is 1 next laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus a is equal to e raised to minus a t. That means if there is s plus a, then the formula for Laplace inverse is e raised to minus a t. Okay. Next formula, formula number four. Laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus a can be written as e raised to a t. Fifth formula. Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus a square. or this can be written as a upon a square plus a square this is nothing but your sin at right because laplace transform of sin at is a upon a square plus a square so laplace inverse of s upon a square plus a square that is equal to cos of at right next laplace inverse of 
a upon s square minus a square this is sin hyperbolic at it laplace inverse of s upon s square minus a square this is nothing but your cos hyperbolic of at the ninth formula this is very important laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to n this can be written as okay so there are two important formulas for this so one is t raised to n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial if n is positive integer if n is positive integer and that is equal to this can be written as t raised to n minus 1 upon gamma n t raised to n minus 1 upon gamma n if n is in fraction if n is in fraction okay so this formula is we have to remember right so these are the important nine formulas that we have to remember for solving the numericals so let us see <coughs> some important uh, numericals on this particular basic formulas so let us consider type 1 examples on basic formula examples on basic formula so example number 1 find laplace inverse of okay 1 upon s plus 3 plus 1 upon s raised to 3 so how to simplify this look at this. So Laplace inverse of one upon s plus three plus Laplace inverse of one upon s plus three we can separate it. Okay. So now that is equal to what is Laplace inverse of one upon s plus three? So by using formula, Laplace inverse of one upon s plus a, you can write this as a raised to minus three t. Plus here, this can be written as t raised to n minus one. So that is three minus one upon three minus one factorial. And if you simplify this further, e raised to minus three t plus t raised to two upon two factorial, and finally this can be written as e raised to minus three t plus t square upon two. So this is your f of t. Okay. So here the function in f of s for f of s form is given. We have to find the Laplace inverse of that function, and the answer will be in the in the form in the form of t okay so you have to remember this now let us take another example example number 2 let us take an example number 2 <coughs> find laplace inverse of find laplace inverse of 1 upon 2s minus 5 plus 1 upon s raised to 3 by 2 okay now how to find this So that is equal to Laplace inverse of one upon two s minus five. Now separate it. Laplace inverse of one upon s raised to three by two. Now this is equal to Laplace inverse of one upon. Now here what we have to do first? First of all we have to take this two common. So two common. What we get here? S minus five by two. Plus. Here the formula is t raised to n minus one, so three by two minus one upon gamma n. That is three by two. And here this one by two can be taken outside. And what is this remaining? E raised to plus five by two t. Plus here t raised to two one zero two three minus two is one, so one by two, isn't it? Divided by gamma three by two can be written as one by two plus one. Okay, already we have simplified this in the Laplace transform. So one upon two into e raised to five by two t plus t raised to one by two into what is this? One by two gamma one by two. Okay, and if you further simplify this, what we get? One by two into e raised to five by two t plus t raised to one by two divided by one by two into root pi. Isn't it? Because gamma one by two is root pi. And if you simplify this find further, the answer is e raised to pi by two t upon two plus this two can be taken at numerator t raised to one by two upon root pi. 
ओके और e रेस टू फाइव बाई टू टी अपॉन टू प्लस टू इन टू दिस टी रेस टू वन बाय टू इज आई कैन रूट पाए एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो रूट पाए सो वी कैन टेक दिस इन ओनली वन रूट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द आंसर ओके नाउ लेट एस सी अनदर एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री ओके सो द एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री इज फाइन लाप्लास यूनिवर्स ऑफ फाइन लाप्लास यूनिवर्स ऑफ थ्री एस प्लस फाइव रूट टू डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वेर प्लस एट ना हाउ टू सिंपलीफाई दिस सच टाइप ऑफ एग्जांपल्स नाउ हियर इन डिनोमिनेटर देर इज ए स्क्वेयर प्लस एट सो दे डेफिनेटली द आंसर विल बी इन साइन और इट मे बी इन द कॉस ओके ना हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई सो लाप्लास यूनिवर्स ऑफ हियर ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेपरेट इट सो थ्री एस अपॉन एस स्क्वेयर प्लस एट प्लस फाइव रूट टू अपॉन ए स्क्वेयर प्लस एट ओके नाउ इफ यू फर्दर सिंप्लीफाई दिस व्हाट वी गेट हियर सो दैट इज इक्वल टू लाप्लास इनवर्स ऑफ एस अपॉन ए स्क्वेयर प्लस दिस एट कैन बी रिटर्न एज रूट एस ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर सॉरी रूट एट ब्रैकेट स्क्वेयर दिस थ्री कैन बी टेकन आउट साइड प्लस Take this five root two outside, and what we get inside? Laplace inverse of one upon a square plus root eight bracket square. Can we write this? Okay, definitely we can write this. Now that is equal to so three into what is this now? Now this is cos of root eight t. This is cos of root eight t plus here five root two into now for this here. This is one upon a square plus root eight square. So definitely, what we have to do, we have to multiply numerator by root eight and denominator by root eight. Then and then only this will be the formula of sine eighty. So write down here root eight and redivide this by root eight. So this will be root eight. And what is this? Sine of root eight t. Is it it? Now this can be written as further. <coughs> Three into cos of root eight t plus five root two divided by this eight can be written as four into two, isn't it? Can we can write this? This is sine of root eight t. Now, if you further simplify this, three into cos of root eight t plus five by two. Okay, this square root of four is two, and this root two root two get cancelled, and your answer will be this. Got it. So this is the Laplace transform of three s plus five root two upon s square plus eight. Okay. Now let us take another example. Example number four. <coughs> okay. So Laplace inverse of Laplace inverse of s plus fifteen upon s square sixteen s square sixteen s square minus twenty five. Now we have to solve this example. Okay, so let us try to solve this. So Laplace inverse of first of all we have to divide this denominator. So yes upon or let us first write this like this s yes plus fifteen upon take this sixteen first common what we get here s yes square minus twenty five by sixteen. So one by sixteen can be taken outside. Laplace inverse of s yes upon s yes square minus five by four. Square. Okay, minus uh, sorry plus Laplace inverse of fifteen upon a square minus five by four square. Right. Now this is equal to one upon sixteen. And what is this? This is definitely cos hyperbolic of five by four t. Plus here. Now here this can be written as <coughs> now. There is five by four, so here should be five by four, and here should be five by four, unless and until there is five by four, we cannot take this as a sine hyperbolic, right? So for that, what we have to do? Take this fifteen outside. So, or here this can be written as, <coughs> or within this particular fifteen, there is five. So just what you do? Take three common, and what we get here? Laplace inverse of five. Okay. Now again, here we required four, 
so here we have bring this 5 by 4 divided by a square minus 5 by 4 bracket square but how much we have taken extra here 1 by 4 we have taken extra so if there is 1 by 4 then we have to again multiply this by 4 ok so this is equal to 1 by 16 in bracket cos hyperbolic of 5 by 4 t plus this 4 can be taken outside so 3 4 is a 12 and this is what sin hyperbolic of 5 by 4 t this is your answer or we can uh, divide by this particular 16 to this bracket and that will be the final answer cos hyperbolic 5 by 4 t divided by 16 plus 4 3 is a 12 4 4 is a so 3 by 4 sin hyperbolic 5 by 4 t this is your f of t ok so in this way we can solve such type of examples let us take another example let us take another example <coughs> Now, is there any mistake? I think there is no any mistake here. Okay, so this is good. Now, example number five. Let us take Laplace. Find Laplace inverse of. 3 into s square minus 1 bracket square upon 2s raised to 5. 2s raised to 5. Okay, so this is the example. Now, how to simplify this example? Okay, look at this. Simple example. No, it is not very hard, difficult. So, what you have to do? Laplace inverse of 3 into, now simplify this. So, what we get here? s raised to 4 minus 2s square plus 1 divided by 2s raised to 5. Now, from here we can take this 3 common and from this we can take 2 common. So, 3 by 2 outside, what we get inside? Laplace inverse of s raised to 4 upon s raised to 5 minus 2s raised to 2 upon s raised to 5 plus 1 upon s raised to 5. Okay, right. So, now this can be written as equal to 3 by 2 into Laplace inverse of now separate it again s raised to 4 upon s raised to 5 that is 1 upon s so separate it minus 2 common Laplace inverse of s raised to 2 upon s raised to 5 that is 1 upon s raised to 3 plus Laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to 5 now that is equal to 3 by 2 into what is Laplace inverse of 1 by s 1 minus 2 into Laplace inverse of 1 upon s raised to 3 so, t square upon 2 factorial, that is 2, okay, plus here t raised to 4 upon 4 factorial, that is 24, 4 factorial is 24, okay, and that is equal to 3 by 2 in bracket 1 minus this 2 to cancel, so there here will be 2 is t square plus t raised to 4 upon 24, okay, so this is your final answer. Or we can further simplify this 3 by 2 minus 3 t square upon 2 plus 3 for uh, 3 8 is a 24 and 8 to the 16 so 1 by 16 t raised to 4 this is also answer okay so this is the type number one we will solve more examples on this particular type one in next lecture thank you very much